Let's talk about the protein obsession. In recent years, protein has just been so important in the world of nutrition and wellness. And I feel like it's getting a little bit out of hand. There's this whole craze around it. You see all these new like protein bars and protein products and tips to eat like 200 grams of protein a day and just all these things that have people thinking that protein is like the ultimate thing you need to be eating more of in order to be healthy. The protein popularity isn't new. I think it can be traced back to the rise of the Atkins diets, like paleo diets and keto diets, all of these very high protein diets that really emphasize the need to consume more protein. And I feel like since then, things have been just spiraling to make protein the obsession of the moment. I mean, sure, of course, don't get me wrong, protein is an essential macronutrient, an essential nutrient. Your body cannot get it, cannot make it on its own, so you need to be eating enough, and it's definitely super important in terms of cell repair, muscle growth, and immunity, and just like a bunch of things. However, I do feel like it is overshadowing a few other nutrients that are as important and that's where the problem lies in my opinion but today we're gonna look at the evidence we're gonna try to understand while well, protein is like the current obsession if it's justified or not and then what to do to make sure that we eat as healthy as possible so first let's talk about why we are obsessed with protein so i think that proteins like elevated status can be traced back to when we started emphasizing the this like lean physique where people would look the best if they were slim but also toned that if they had like muscle definition and we kind of thought that this was the healthy way to look you should be pretty slim pretty thin not too thin and you should look like you are toned fit muscular, whatever, but this was kind of deemed as desirable because it meant that you were eating well and also you were likely going to the gym, exercising, taking care of your body. And since protein, and this is an actual fact, will help you build muscle, then I feel like the mix of the fitness industry and the diet industry just kind of like came together and started to promote protein as this tool then i think it just kind of spiraled from people who already had like pretty lean muscular physiques who started promoting eating more protein like specific protein products and then that started influencing other people who then started to jump on this trend and while i think for a while protein and the importance of eating enough protein was kind of reserved for people who were very active very like went to the gym a lot, very concerned with physical activity, I think that now it has become something that is extremely widespread and I see a lot of people who do not get out of their couch who are still obsessed with consuming enough protein and who actually consume like way too much. And then of course with this kind of like physical trend it came the food industry's role in in this because they hopped on that and they decided to make as many protein high in protein products as possible in order to make money, of course. So they started pushing like protein bars and protein powders and protein shakes and like protein everything a lot of it was purely marketing i would look at certain products look at the the protein content in these products compared to like the amount of energy or like the amount of fat and it would just it would just be ridiculous you would find the same amount of like the same macros in yogurt that was like one eighth of the price so the food industry was both creating new products and then also they were capitalizing on the products that they already have and just marketing them slightly differently so that they would be like high in protein when again in reality it was the same product i also think that since more plant-based ways of eating were a little bit on the rise it was also an occasion for the meat market to be like there's a bunch of protein in meat 
plant protein is not as good don't use the plant protein go for the meat go for the animal protein that will be healthier for you you will build better muscle so they were doing that and then the plant side of things were busy creating a bunch of products that were enriched in protein but did not have any like animal products in them to again appeal to other people people who are who are looking for more plant-based diet and so it just created this competitiveness between like all these industries really trying to get a piece of the cake here with the protein and then on top of that you had influencers who were promoting eating more protein fitness people who were saying that you need to eat more protein in order to do this and that it was just this huge thing completely blown out of proportion at least I feel. And then there was the psychology of the protein effect that was also important because there's this thing called like the, the halo effect, the health halo effect, where basically you are going to think that something is much healthier than it actually is just because of the way that it's marketed, just because of the way that you hear about it and the way it's like consistently pushed, pushed in front of you. And that is the case for protein. A lot of people had no idea what protein was like a few days ago, but now they're seeing protein everywhere. Protein is so important. Protein you need to do this, that, that, that. Protein is like the miracle macronutrient. And all of a sudden, everything that they are going to listen to or read or hear is going to be in that direction. And that's another thing that's going to be like the confirmation bias. So once you, once you start thinking about these things, once you start hearing these things, then all of a sudden, all you ever hear or see is going to be consolidating that opinion. And I think this works especially for things like protein because there's absolutely nothing bad with eating protein. It's definitely important for you. So it's very hard to find messaging that will counter that because again, like nobody, nobody is saying protein is bad. It's just that the importance of protein has just been totally blown out of proportion compared to a bunch of other things that are just as important. And so I feel like if you're stuck in this confirmation bias thing, it's very hard to get out of it because you're never going to find something that invalidates the importance of protein. But what you do need to be looking for is for evidence that just validates the importance of all the other things on the same level as protein and that the protein obsession is kind of ridiculous and not necessary. So if we actually look at the truth when it comes to protein, what do the facts say? So if you look at the recommended dietary allowance for protein, it is 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. For example, for a person weighing 70 kilograms, which is about 154 pounds, you would need to be eating around 56 grams of protein a day. However, I think it's really important to note that this is the minimum requirement for you to be like healthy. It's not the optimal amount of protein that you need. My personal view on this is I try to eat as much protein as like as many grams of protein as my weight in kilograms. So if you weigh 50 kilograms, then you eat 50 grams of protein a day. And I try to have that as the way that I see things and things are different as well. If you engage in a lot of physical activity, it's going to be more, you need to be closer to the like 1.5 grams to two grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And if you're an older adult as well, you may need a bit more protein, closer to like 1.2, 1.5 grams per kilogram of body weight. But in any case, going past 2.2 grams is not going to be helpful. It's not going to, to add like any beneficial effects and it's just going to be wasted. I think the reason, the main reason why I don't recommend eating too much protein and going like way past these numbers is because for most people, if you are going to eat a lot of protein, you are either going to be needing to eat a lot of meat, like animal products, or a lot of like super processed protein powders and protein products. Eating a lot of animal products, specifically red meat, is linked to more heart disease and different types of cancers and just overall lower quality of health. And if you're eating a bunch of processed protein powders, you are just consuming a bunch of additives and preservatives and foods that are just not whole foods, which is okay 
a little bit in moderation of course nothing wrong with that however if you are consistently relying on these things and these are making up like the bulk of your calories then that's not ideal i also think that another misconception people have is that protein cannot make you gain weight and that's completely false protein if you eat it past a certain amount it, your body will not be able to use that in order to create more muscle so it will get stored as fat and that's okay but i mean inherently it's going to be the same effect as if you eat too much sugar or too much fat it's going to get stored as fat i think another main issue i see with protein is that people are so obsessed with protein they tend to overlook other nutrients that are just as important if not more important for instance fiber which is crucial for weight management and also reducing risks of a bunch of diseases and just helps you like it helps you feel like much fuller much better healthier reduces the risk of heart disease of certain cancers of just a bunch of things so fiber is absolutely crucial and people should be getting around 25 grams of fiber a day and most americans are getting like 15 grams of fiber a day and if you compare that to protein like most americans are eating way above the level that the protein that they need to be eating so it's like people are so focused on eating more protein all the while completely neglecting fiber which would bring them many more benefits if they paid more attention to it and also like i talked about before protein is one of the three macronutrients that you need to be eating but it is not above the other two which are fat or carbs and again people are like glorifying protein as if it's the only one to pay attention to but no you need to pay attention to all three of them. All three of them have a very important role. All three of them need to be included in your diet and not just protein. So here's what you need to do instead of fixating on protein. You need to eat a balanced diet, a well-rounded diet that's focusing on all the things and not just the protein. To so make sure that you're eating a variety of whole foods, make sure that you are focused on getting whole carbs that you are getting from like whole grains and from fruit and veggies and legumes and that you're focused on getting healthy fats that are not saturated fats so that you are getting from like avocado and olives and olive oil and nuts and salmon when it comes to the quality of protein that you are consuming it's also good to increase plant protein more and to increase whole sources of protein more so instead of relying on animal products and like protein bars make sure that you're eating more tofu and more whole grains and more legumes like lentils and different kinds of beans when you are eating animal protein make sure that you're prioritizing fish and also chicken eggs yogurt things like that that are going to have more benefits than red meats and like processed meats and then as a whole you really need to try to reframe your vision of protein again i'm not saying that protein is not important but maybe you need to take a step back and realize that it is not worth pouring all of your energy into and again protein is just one piece of the puzzle but if you are hyper obsessing over protein and then not getting like any of the rest of the things then that's not going to work and of course physical activity is important as well because if you're consuming all this protein and you're not even exercising again it's not useful now i'm going to take this opportunity to say that this video isn't really for people who are extremely active or who exercise like multiple hours a day or whose like entire livelihood depends on physical activity for you it's completely different of course but I'm talking about a lot of people who are, you know, like me and who exercise a little bit, but who don't exercise that much and who do not need to be obsessing over protein and whose energy is going to be much better spent elsewhere. As usual, remember that balance is key and looking at all three of the macronutrients, making sure that you're hitting the targets on all three of them and making sure that you're focusing on the quality of the food that you're eating rather than just trying to get in like huge quantities of protein. That is really what you need to be focusing on. That's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.